The Timely Pocket Trim Kit is an ideal solution when using a combination of swinging and pocket doors on a project. Using a pocket trim kit for both types of openings provides a uniform finished appearance for all openings. Since Timely only provides a trim kit, the actual pocket frame, including the track and roller hardware, must be provided by other trades prior to installation of the pocket trim kit. There are numerous types of trim kits, each with their own installation methods, and Timely cannot specify or recommend installation instructions for every frame available. We do, however, provide a trim kit adaptable to most standard pocket frame types. Most pocket frames are designed to be trimmed out with wood using a standard one by material, which is actually three quarters inch thick. The rough opening created by the frame is one inch to one and one half inch larger than the door size. Three quarter inch material is used to trim the opening, creating a finished width one half inch less than the door size. The door can be completely closed against the strike jam and there will still be one half inch of door recessed into the pocket, keeping the door from swinging out of the opening. In some installations, the pocket frame is not centered in the wall. For this condition, Timely supplies trim kits with unequal J trim pieces. Contact Timely Customer Service for additional information on how to order pocket trim kits for these wall conditions. Installation of the pocket trim kit requires only a few simple tools a six foot and a three foot level, a tape measure, a carpenter's pencil, and a screw gun set on medium speed with the clutch adjusted to make sure the screws are tight to the wall. A drill bit is needed to drill pilot holes for the door guides and a self-centering punch is used to create pilot holes for smaller screws used to install hardware. Number six bugle head drywall screws are recommended for installations in drywall. Screw length must be sufficient to adequately anchor the jam parts but not long enough to extend into the door pocket where they could damage the door. For a 3-0 by 6-8 trim kit, 40 screws are required. The actual pocket frame must be installed when the walls are being framed. Follow the instructions included with the pocket door frame to determine the rough framing required to install the track and jam posts for the pocket frame. After the pocket frame is installed, the drywall is applied. Finish and paint the drywall before installing the trim kit. Once the wall is finished, you're ready to install the door. Install the bumper on the back edge of the door to cushion the door when opened. If using the inverted stop jam, a one quarter inch spacer is required to move the latch of the door, even with the J trim when installed. Install the door on the rollers following the manufacturer's instructions. Plumb the leading edge of the door so it will align with the jam side of the trim kit when installed. Then follow these few simple steps to install the trim kit. The pocket trim kit is designed to fit industry standard openings. Timely standard pocket trim kit finished inside dimensions are for width, nominal door width minus one half inch for no stop strike jam, nominal door width minus one inch for inverted stop strike jam. For height, nominal door height plus three sixteenths inch. For a single pocket door, the Timely Trim Kit includes two vertical J trim pieces for the jam, two horizontal J trim pieces for the head, and a single cased opening jam for the latch side of the opening. These pieces are prepared with Timely standard nail holes, oval slots, and casing clips for attachment of Timely casing. If using wood casing, frames are prepared for nail holes and oval slots only. For a cased opening strike jam, measure the rough opening width at the floor. Subtract the nominal door width, minus one half inch, to determine the leftover space. Divide the leftover space in half to determine the location of the J trim from the rough framing. In most cases, this will be three quarters inch to one inch from the rough stud. Measure the calculated distance from the stud or jam post floor at both sides. This mark is the beginning point for jam installation. Place a level on the floor to determine the high side of the opening. The high side of the opening determines the starting point for installation. For an inverted stop jam, measure the rough opening width at the floor. Subtract the nominal door width minus one inch to determine the leftover space. 
Divide the leftover space in half to determine the location of the J trim from the rough framing. In most cases, this will be one inch to one and one quarter inch from the stud or jam post. Measure the calculated distance from the stud or jam post and mark the floor at both jams. This mark is the beginning point for jam installation. As with the standard jam, place a level on the floor to determine the high side of the opening and the starting point for installation. If the high side is the latch side, begin with the cased opening jam. Place the bottom of the jam on the mark on the floor and place a fastener at the bottom of the jam. Using a six foot magnetic level, plumb the jam and place a fastener at the top. If the high side of the opening is the pocket side, begin with a piece of upright J trim. Rest the J trim on the floor aligned with the mark and insert a screw at the bottom of the trim piece. Using a six foot magnetic level, plumb the jam piece and insert a screw at the top. Install one side of the J trim at the head interlocking the J trim with the upright piece. Align the end of the header piece with the edge of the upright piece and insert a screw at the header J trim above the jam piece. Level the header J trim and insert a screw at the opposite end. Interlock the opposite upright piece with the head making sure the end of the header is even with the edge of the jam and insert a screw at the top of the upright piece. Using the six foot magnetic level, plumb the jam and install a fastener at the bottom. This jam should align with the mark on the floor but may be slightly above the floor if the floor is uneven. Check the door for proper operation and verify that it is properly aligned in the opening. If necessary, Adjust the door at the top rollers so that the latch of the door is even with the latch side trim piece. Instructions for adjusting the door are included with the pocket door hardware kit. Install the opposite side J trim following the same process. Check for proper operation and clearances, then insert a screw in the J trim pieces and jam at every casing clip to secure the trim to the opening. Apply casing to the trim kit using the same method as a standard timely frame. Beginning at the head, center the header casing in the opening and snap it over one clip in the center. Install a casing corner piece in the upright casing and insert it into the header casing. Align the miter and snap the upright casing over one clip at the top. Install the other upright casing with a casing corner in the same manner. If necessary, the header casing can be moved slightly to create tight miters on both sides. When all casing pieces are aligned, snap the header casing over the remaining clips. Snap each upright casing over the clips beginning at the top and working down to the bottom. Apply casings to the opposite side of the opening to finish the trim kit installation. Install the guides at the bottom of the J trim according to the manufacturer's instructions. Install locking or latching hardware on the door. If the latch jam is prepared for a strike, install the strike on the jam to finish the opening. The Timely Pocket Trim Kit provides an economical and functional solution for pocket doors used in conjunction with other Timely Frames on the project. As with all Timely Frames, they are easily removable if adjustment or relocation is required in the future. The Timely Pocket Trim Kit will provide years of trouble-free operation for all residential and commercial applications. <music>